What's up everybody? Ravenel Ford, Carbine Made Easy. Just stay tuned because this next video is for you. What's up everybody? Welcome to Ravenel Ford. I'm Chad with Charleston Car Videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Ford F-150 STX with the Super Cab 4x2. Stay tuned. Let's have a good time. Let's see what this truck is all about for 2018. All right everybody. So let's have a look at this good looking Ford truck. The STX package, right? This should be a little interesting. And again, it's a 2018. So to start here, let's take a look at the front end. That definitely looks a little bit different than your regular Ford F-150 front. You know, first off, it's an 18, but how that white kind of wraps around on the grill right there and then kind of extends over into those headlights, that's different. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that has something to do with the STX package on it, but as I will tell you folks in my reviews, I enjoy hearing what you have to say in the comments section. So if you know a little information that I might not know, vice versa, let's uh, let's chat back and forth a little bit online. So anyways, that's the front end, looking pretty good. You got the fog lights down there and all, not too bad. Now up under the hood here, you have a 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine, right? So it should perform pretty well. Today I actually filmed a uh, Ford Edge Sport, and that has twin turbo 2.7 liter v6 and that thing holy macaroni it'll get up and roll out right let's take a look at the wheels on here i have a feeling the wheels have to go with that package so 20 inch in size not a bad looking wheel either i like that uh that machine face on it it's a 275 55 series tire by michelin and again a 20 inch wheel you can't go wrong with 20s on a pretty ford truck now it is a super cab and let me tell you folks, just to go ahead and get this out of the way, super cab does not mean a whole lot of room in the back of there and I will show you that shortly. But again, it does got a little bit of space for some smaller people to get back there. But a guy like me that's six foot one, not gonna be too comfortable in the back of that super cab. Now it's already got the tow package on the bottom. You got the white back bumper, F-150 right there, okay. Not bad. We got to get this off of here. That is not our dealership, folks. We are Ravenel Ford, not Capital Ford. And there's the other side of the body. Let's go ahead and take a look at the price while we're out here stepping around in the uh, in the fall leaves on the ground. All right, so. Uh, this truck, again, 2018 F-150 4x2 Super Cab Oxford White. Um, with all the packages and everything that it possibly has on it, this one is priced out at $37,490. Gets 26 on the highway, 20 city, average combined of 22 mile per gallon. That's pretty good. In 40 years, Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck. That's a pretty big statement they got on there, right? Must be true if they're going to put it on the window. But anyways, fuel economy is looking really good at 26 on the highway, average combined 22. Now here's something Ravenel Ford does that no other Ford dealership that I know of has on their windows is these big orange window stickers. And this is nice for the customers, folks. 37490 as you saw earlier, there's a $1,330 discount. 98 over invoice is 36160 There's a rebate of 1500 Easy price, thirty-four six sixty, and then if you finance with Ford Motor Credit, seven hundred fifty more you'll save. Includes bed liner and wheel covers. Okay, there you go. So uh, that's pretty nice. Nice little breakdown there. All right, let's go ahead and move around and hop in on the All interior. Right. So on your door here, you do get power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Good stuff. You do got the black cloth interior seats on the inside. Big center console. Steering wheel looks nice. Let's go ahead and hop in. You got a nice big screen there. That's always a plus. Big, looks nice. It's high def, vivid colors. Also two USB ports down there. Lots of deep cubby hole spots all over the place. Not bad at all. Um, you also get another LCD screen right through the middle there, if you can see that. You get all these buttons over here, cruise control, you can control that screen right there. Volume, skip, Bluetooth cell phone system, oh crap handles. Up top you got some LED lighting going on. Um, you do not get a vanity mirror, you do not get a mirror at all in your vanity. How about that? You do on that side though, so they did think about the ladies. But no light. You do got a 12 volt right there. Big glove box, big center armrest, and then massive size area to store stuff in there. More cup holders. There you go. Plenty of headroom, I can tell you that. And my seat is in right in position right now if I were going to drive this truck. So let's go ahead and hop in the back 
and see how rear leg room does. So you want to open this from right here. There's that door. Let's move this out the way for a quick second. Definitely got a lot going on in here. I apologize to make you wait on me while I'm not moving around license plate frames and, and, and carpeted floor mats. I will tell you, this is nice that you got rear air back here, even in a super cab, and you get two USB ports and a 12 volt in the back. That's pretty sweet. And a little place to throw your things in your map. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop in. Well, as you can see there, there is not much leg room at all. Okay, I mean, I, I'm six foot one. This is extremely tight. So I definitely we would, would be asking the driver to move up for me a little bit. Or I'd have to come sit over here, right? Or sit in the middle, possibly. That's nice how the cup holders are there. Now that makes sense to me. You got headrests. Plenty of headroom in the back. So that's fine. We got plenty of headroom. The only thing that's not super is the leg room. It's just not super. You don't have a whole lot of, a lot of leg room in the back. So that's it for that. Other than that, would be okay on the headroom, but not on the leg room in the back of a Super Cab F-150. Like I will tell you, I would suggest buying a, suggest buying a crew cab truck if you're going to be using the back seats a good bit. Again, it'd be just if you got co-workers getting in and going on the job sites and stuff, you know, why not give them a little more room in the back? I know it may cost you some extra money, but it'll really be worth it in the long run. Um, this door does open up even more. I mean, it goes all the way back to there, which is pretty sweet. And you can even roll down the back window. Let's see if it goes all the way down. So that gives you a little bit more arm room if you need to put your arm out the window when you're cramped in the back. And nice and solid. All right, everybody, so that is your STX. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick walk around showing you the exterior and interior of this truck. If you're interested in buying one, come see my friends at Ravenel Ford. And as usual, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's a, something that you'd like to see that, that I can do a review on, make sure to let me know in the comment section. A guy asked to see a Power Stroke diesel truck. Of course, I came out here today and I did one for him. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. And happy holidays from Chad at Charleston Car Videos. Carbine really is made easy at Ravenel Ford. And don't forget, this video is brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real video, real cars, real people.